Hey there and welcome back. Let me share with you a few tips when dealing with height fields in Odini. The first one is how you can use the height field pattern to mask out parts of the terrain. I'm using a ramp and playing with the height and center, and in this case using it to create some elevation with the remap node. Now I wanted to create some cliff-like sections on the terrain, and for that I used the terrace node but I ended up masking it using a night field mask noise, so it's not everywhere. As you can see, the default look of the terrace is not so great. This one might be obvious, but I honestly didn't know till recently. I wanted a section of a bigger cliff face at the front, so I used again a ramp to mask out that part and multiply the noise on top. But then I wanted a bigger area, and while I could use a mask expand, playing with the bias of the noise will actually work better to grow and shrink the area. So the next one is an optimization tip when you're working with volume vops and want to clip an area of a VDB. Using the VDB clip you can just connect a box and cut a section to speed up the calculation of the volume vops while maintaining the scale of the noises and the same resolution. Let's say you want to preview a noise you have on volume vops as a color attribute. You can first add a CD attribute using a color node, then in the VDB from polygons you can pass this attribute and give it a VDB name. Next you'll notice a fog-like preview of the attribute, so you might want to hide it using a visibility node. So inside the VOP I am mixing two different noises and using another one as the mix factor and I wanted to preview it so I can simply bind export as a vector the resulting noise and finally using an attribute from volume to see the result. So that's what I wanted to share, feel free to grab the scene on my Patreon and I hope you have learned something new today. See you in the next time!